That was unfortunate. The dragon didn't fly in for some reason, but hello everyone, Vasive here. Welcome to another session of quarantine. Both the dogs just like immediately looked at me. Same exact expression. We're gonna be playing uh, some more D&D &D with quarantine. Let me go ahead and get us on switched over to button. There we go. And uh, we'll say hello to the team. All right. Say hello everyone. Oh, God, oh, we cool. We hear sounds. Hello. Okay, let's see. We left off. Uh, where'd we leave? Uh, oh yeah, Lucy was kicking uh, Shiloh the Buff's head back to town, like a stinking soccer ball. <laughs> and that's where, oh yeah, dude. That's where we left off. You guys were right outside of town, and uh, we said it was uh, pretty early in the morning, I believe, like I three in the morning. To the point. Yeah, he was kicking his head. Yeah. All right, um, Rokax is going to be joining us a little bit later, we think, depending on when we end. Um, he's at the airport and uh, taking care of his stuff, so hopefully he'll be able to join us. Um, but you guys are now exiting the forest that uh, Shiloh the Buff was kind of inhabiting, and uh, you are entering. It's about 3 in the morning. Um, I don't think the sun has quite started coming up yet, but that's what you're at. <laughs> you kick it around this head. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Computers kind of having a problem, but hopefully it's okay. All right. Um, so what are you guys doing? Um, well, we were taking the head back somewhere as proof uh, that we killed the um, quest thing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, then. Yes. Uh, so I think we were heading back towards there, uh, but we were quite a way away. Um, so is it 3 a.m.? Yeah, it's about 3 a.m. 3 a.m., okay. Um, well, I guess in that case, we're just, we're just heading back. That's all we can... Well, uh, really you guys are this. literally right at the edge of town. You're, like, walking in. Oh, we're at the edge of town now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, is the inn still open? Uh... It's still open, but you might have to, you know, knock to wake up the innkeeper kind of thing. Yeah, Raska. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember what we were going to do. We were going to um, go and sleep in um, those uh, kids' house that we stayed. House. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. because they're, they're, in the, um, yeah, they're in the inn at the moment. Um, and we were going to go there, restock it, because, um, yeah, we, we can basically stay there for two nights. Um, so, yeah, I guess, wait, did we have the body with us as well? Didn't Rokex bring the body and I was kicking the head? No, because no. he was too much. Okay, okay, well, in that case, yeah, I guess we go towards the, um, <laughs> I guess we go, uh, yeah, true, yeah, because it could regenerate again. Um, yeah, so I guess we go to the, uh, the orphan kid's house and we Has Pancakes a uh, cat come back? Oh, yeah, how far away is, uh, Kiri? No, the cat hasn't come back yet. Okay. It'll probably come back later, though. Because <clears throat> it's only... You've only been uh, technically... Yeah. At this for, like, a day. Yeah. So, uh, you guys take a nap at the the kids' house? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Until morning. Okay. Um, morning <laughs> arrives uh, without with nary a problem. Uh, the head is still ahead. Um, didn't regenerate or anything, which is good. Um, and it is about... Uh, eight, nine in the morning. <clears throat> okay, then. Um, so I think first thing we should do is, uh, hand this head in. I don't think it'll be a good look for us to be walking around town all day with, uh, just a head. So, yeah, that has been kicked around like the entire the way. Or anything? Right, well, well, I've been kicking it the entire yeah. way there. So what makes you think, what makes you think I'm going to, Give it some dignity now and put it in a sack. <laughs> Hell no. Oops. <laughs> Touché. So, yeah. So, um... Back if the kids show up. Yeah. So, um, who had the, um, quest? It was... What do you mean by quest? Oh, Quinn. 
Quinn was oh, the guy yeah, who yeah, Quinn, yeah, yeah. about the bounty. Yeah, we, to uh, we, should, we, should, we should go and see Quinn. Quinn at the inn. Um, you Quinn at the inn. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, so we're going to see Quinn um, and basically just provide him with the evidence of what we have done, I guess. Yeah. Okay. And get paid. Yes, yeah, so go to the boarded up um, inn. Yeah, go to the inn. Okay. Uh, you go to the inn and uh, Quinn is, you know, doing. Getting ready for the day, setting up the inn, making sure everything's can span for the uh, the new or anyone that new, may be coming in to visit. Uh, and he, he welcomes you. I don't remember if I gave him a special voice or not, but uh, he's like, oh, welcome, friends. Hello. Morning, Quinn. Morning. Here, here, you here for some breakfast? I got some nice bacon um... and eggs cooking up right now. Uh, that sounds amazing. We'll definitely take that, but we think we also have something else that may interest you. We're here to offer good news. He, he looks up from, uh, scrubbing the, the stuff behind him, and he sees that Lucius just carrying a head by the head, the hair. He's like, and he startles. He's not used to seeing, you know, <laughs> head without a body walking into like, the oh, <laughs> Why would you bring that in here? It's so, like, well, you see... This is the creature, the beast that has been terrorizing your town. And this is his head as proof. We had to fight it twice. It regenerated. Technically, I think we had to make sure. Shh. <laughs> uh, he'll, he'll be like, he looks at you kind of. <clears throat> doesn't really believe you until you say it regenerates. And he says, well, I was uh, skeptical until you said it regenerates. And that kind of fits the profile that we've heard. Mm, I guess to know truly if this is the creature, we'll have to wait a few months to see if anything happens. But uh, yeah, a few I'll, take months. On, I'll take you on your word right now. Of course, when uh, okay. we uh, caught this creature, apparently, uh, it we managed to kill it, and it somehow uh, yeah, I came back to life. <laughs> I stabbed it in its heart after it had been Elf's Blast all the heck, and it had been stabbed in the kidney with an arrow straight through. Yeah. He was definitely dead. He was dead dead, dead twice. Yeah, he really was. Three times. And then on the way of dragging his whole entire body with us. He, he kind of walks <laughs> over and he, he's carrying like a walking stick and he <laughs> looks he's just kind of holding it out and Poke pokes it. it a few times. Like, well, Sure looks dead now. <laughs> Pull my shirt aside and show my bite mark. It's like, you might want to go get that checked out. Uh, hope you don't catch whatever uh, okay. disease that thing had. All right, Lucy's going to try and make a deal with him. Um, how much was the original bounty for the contract? Uh, 500 gold. 500 gold. Was that 500 gold to split between us all? Yeah. It was okay. Oh, obviously, obviously, yeah. If I were to go to each, we'd be mad, wouldn't it? Um, okay, then. So, one, two, three, four, five. That's 100 gold each. Okay, well, if I say... Um, I'll tell you what. If we're going to wait a few months, how about you give us half of the bounty now, 250 gold, and the remaining 250 gold once you are certain. If another attack occurs, we will pay back the 250 gold. Uh, he kind of... Thinks to himself for a minute. He says, tell you what. If nothing happens in a week, you can get the full 500 at the end of the week. I look back and say to the others, so that's a lot better. So, I think we should wait a week. 100%. A, a week is fine. Your word. Like months was like, oh. No, nah, but a week for no, 100 gold each sounds pretty good. That's it. It's nice for Carrion to rejoin, too. Yeah, exactly. It makes more sense. But we still have that rat problem going on that's still time sensitive. And we still need to go to Raska and see the wizard at the tower. Um, which are we closer to? But I'll be closer to Raska. Yeah, you're closer to Raska. Yeah. Okay, um... What's the name of the town we're currently in? Let me just double-check. Uh, Witwick. Witwick? 
Witwick. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, is there anything else um, that we can do in uh, Witwick at the moment, or? Well, you said like any, uh, anything that stands out. I cannot open shit for some reason on my computer. We need to see a wizard, do we not? Yeah, yeah, but that's in another town. That's in Raska. So oh, what yeah. we need to, I want to I see if there's anything else to do here first, because otherwise Kyrian's got to come further, and then we've got to travel well, back to get our gold. So if we spend a little bit more time to, here to wait for the cat. I really suggest that Pancor get her um, bite looked at, as Quinn suggested. Mm. What, do you believe that I'm going to turn into the next buff monster? The buff monster. Well, he didn't look well, and he had a bite on his arm, so maybe it might be worth asking him where we could go for treatment. And also, True. we have to wait for your uh, familiar to get back. I got bit too, I think. I'm going to turn into a were dragon. <laughs> 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 okay, I, I think we should probably go and see someone about your guys' injuries 100%. Uh, I feel like I yep, Queen, yep. Queen overhears you guys saying all this, and he says, Well, if you're looking for a, a medicinal practitioner that might be able to handle this level of skill required, you're going to want to go down the, the road to Raska. There will find, there should be a, a person to be able to actually take care and diagnose what the heck that is all about. Hopefully it's not too festering. And he kind of looks over and he looks like he's about to poke your shoulder, Pancog, to see if it's swollen. He's like, hmm. I swat his hand away. I said, don't touch it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you, you might want to go get that looked at. I was going to say, first of all, it's not polite to touch a lady without asking her permission. He says, I meant no harm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's perfect, because we need to go to Raska anyway. Um, yeah, that makes sense. So, um, before we go, check my inventory real quick. Um, okay, I got like 53 gold. Um, you said there was like um, a smaller town blacksmith, like a, not an amazing one, but more of one that can repair things and maybe have some little bits and pieces. Uh, is that open now? Yeah, you, you could find the, the blacksmith. Okay. Um, well, I want to go there to see if he's got anything, you know, any sort of like better, well, I need more arrows for certain. Um, I don't know if he'll be able to craft them or anything. Um, we need some bits to fix up the kid's house as well. Barricade it better. Mm. You want to barricade the house even though you think you killed the monster? No, true. Good point, good point, uh, good no point, barricade. Good yeah, no, we said we'd fill it with food and stuff um, yes. for them at some point. So we can do that a bit later because, you know, they've still got a night at the, um, the inn, so that's fine. Um, yeah. Does anyone else need anything from the blacksmith? Because if it's only me, then I'll just skip it and I can go without until next time we meet one. Save time. I'm all right. Sorry, Pancog? I said I needed arrows. You need arrows. Um, then we should okay, go Corin, did you need anything? Corin? What do they have at the blacksmith? We'll, we'll, we'll go and find out in a minute. We just mm -hmm. need to know if you need anything. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I don't think I need anything. Maybe some potions or something. Would a blacksmith have maybe some uh, minor little potions? potions? Like, yeah, they probably wouldn't potions, have potions. But... Okay, yeah. well, is there anywhere that would have potions? That's a good shout as well. Uh, you could talk or to the, the nearby time. herbalist. See if she's got anything. Okay. Well, who's closer? To what? Uh, to us. Is the blacksmith closer or the herbalist? Oh, yeah, the blacksmith. Okay, well, then we'll go to see the, the blacksmith, see what they've got, anything at all. Um, also, would the person that fixed up uh, Pancog, would they be a good... Uh, would they also be a herbalist? Oh, uh, yeah, they'll... Well, yeah, the the uh, in Raska, yeah, there'd be the herbalist would be the, yeah, the, the same only person. person can help in Raska. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we should go to the uh, blacksmith now. Get what we need, and then head on to Raska. Go and um, get the wounds looked at first, and then go and see the wizard because two birds, one stone. Yeah. I'm actually curious to what the if the wizard is anything like the other person that was selling stuff or. I, I am losing my mind. 
they have anything that'd be pretty cool well you mean the guy that had the the incorrect news of lucy being some sort of perverted rogue oh no <laughs> i don't think so dex that was his name dex gex so <laughs> gex. That's what gex. Season are we in, by chance? what'd you say what season are we in uh, i think you're in spring because that's when the, the festival happened okay. mm. So I have Oops. on me, I have some herbs that are good for poison protection. Okay. Uh, but not like anti-infection or something. Hang on, what do I have? My computer is having a fucking aneurysm. What mm. the hell? Oh, did anyone get any sort of fracture? Like whilst being bit or during the fr leg. Yeah, that was um, Rokax, because I've got a fender stem which um, can bound up and uh, increase the rate of healing for a fracture by two times. That reminds me, I actually played D&D &D, um, once with a uh, game where we had to roll a natural 20 to get a bear trap <laughs> off of one of our players. <laughs> What? It was horrible. <laughs> wow. It was horrible. Oh, remember, I've actually got two bear traps still in my inventory. Mm -hmm. So we've got those just in case for hunting purposes later on we've got that. Um, I don't think I've got anything to help. Um, not against any other toxin. Um, I don't think I do either. Uh... Oh, uh, okay then, actually, okay, um, has anyone got any wormwood in their inventory? Because I've got um, some rue, which when mixed with wormwood creates a very effective antiseptic, which could keep you guys looked after until we get to Raska, just in case. Unfortunately not. Okay, in, in that case, seeing as the herbalist is here also, the, the herbalist would also probably have wormwood. It's a very basic one anyway. Um, we could mix that, and it says the preparation for it is literally none. Just mix them together and... <laughs> Squish and make it. a paste. Um, but the ability check is intelligence minus two. Okay. To see if it works. So, okay. right, so we... Should probably go to the blacksmith first, see if they got anything, head over to the herbalist, see if they got some wormwood, make you guys a little antiseptic, and they'll be have no problem getting it. Awesome. Good thinking. That, that works. Okay? Awesome. Okay, then, to the blacksmith. Okay. Uh, you uh, walk on up to the blacksmith, and uh, she's banging on some stuff, you know, just basic repairs, making some horseshoes. Stuff like that. Ting, ting, ting. Facing away from you, doesn't even know you're approaching. Like, excuse me. She keeps hammering. She's, <laughs> she's not. She's obviously just kind of oblivious on her own little world. Ting. See, I'm really afraid of going to tap her on the shoulder while she's got a massive hammer in her hand <laughs> and is striking metal because you know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Especially after the full incident. Yeah. <laughs> All very prim and proper. To my full 5'4 height. Uh. And I didn't play tap her on the shoulder while saying, Hello, ma'am! You, you, you tapped her? Yeah. She kind of, like, calmly just kind of looks up. Says, oh, excuse me. Uh, I'm going to do a fucking voice. Oh, oh excuse me. She starts wiping off her the what is that stuff called that they use in blacksmithing the dust um iron shavings sometimes something uh, it, uh, I forget what it's called whatever she has that and she's kind of wiping it off uh her hands is like please and she's wiping it on her her apron like how can I help you uh yes uh we have a few in our party that need some healing um, and we were going to see if you might have... She uh, looks at you wildly and is like, only kind of healing I can do is breaking a knee if you need. Holds up her hammer. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we just need some herbs. Otherwise, we, we're more than adept at handling ourselves. 
but we were told that she looks at you even more confused and like <laughs> why would you come to a blacksmith for herbs <laughs> i poke i poke i, I poke yeah. and be like are you okay pancog is that infection <laughs> getting to you <laughs> i just I, I i am sorry to uh bother you ma'am unfortunately it seems that uh the wound I acquired while I was adventuring with my party is getting to my head. I'm going to let my other party member talk to you. And then I step back and I hide <laughs> behind the joke. <laughs> that is our rogue because... Okay, you know, yes, don't worry. I, I, I kind of just like pat her on the shoulder as she goes past like, it's okay. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> We've all made those this. mistakes. <laughs> We've all done this. Trust me. <laughs> I've made plenty. <laughs> if you do that again, I will still <laughs> I just just pat on the head and say be gone. So anyway, <laughs> so I walk up. I say I I apologize for my friend. Um, me and the rest of my party were involved in a, a dangerous fight, and both of them, both our um, our dragon friend and our uh, our little short friend here have suffered major wounds. <laughs> That middle finger, though. <laughs> um, they, they might not quite be themselves. So what they meant to ask was, do you have any sort of equipment, arrows, um, repairing equipment, anything whatsoever that could help us on our journey? She kind of looks over at you guys and uh, takes a quick gander over at some, uh, especially like Rokax's gear since it's metal. And she's like, yeah, yeah, you got a couple of bumps and bruises here. I could, I could hammer all that out. She looks at the rest of you guys that are in cloth and leather and tips her head to the side. Not one for cloth, per se, but uh, I believe I could be able to fix out some of those leather kinks and stuff. But yeah, I, I, I could think I could be assistance here. Um, that, that would be amazing. Um, uh, so I'll take off my like leather armor, leaving me with like no whatever I've got else on, um, and I'll hand it over. Um, how much would that be? It'd be uh, four gold pieces per person. Four pieces. Okay. okay. So 49 gold there. There we go. Um, a miscreation, or okay. sorry, Echo, you're probably, oh, you're probably, uh, don't need a repair because you're wearing okay. cloth. Yeah. Um, so you'd I'll have to find like a tailor or something. Back. Or actually, I think you have tailoring supplies. You could probably patch up your own gear. You probably fixed it yourself, yeah. Um, I'll put my armor back on. Um, so, you know, it's the future thing. It is on. Um, and I'll say, do you have any arrows at all? She says, of course. She walks over uh, like, yeah. to the back way. Okay. Just, oh, right now I've only seems about, about 30 here, but uh, I could probably get you some more in the morning. Okay, I kind of look over okay. to Pancock and say, Pancock, how many arrows would you need? I need some arrows too. How much does it cost again? Oh, I think they were like two copper or something a piece. Wasn't that or two cheap. silver? They're, they're cheap. super cheap. I think <laughs> you, it was two silver. Yeah, if, if you want, just make a note and uh, figure out how much it would be. We should we should really have the repository of stuff that we constantly yeah. look up. <laughs> like here's arrow prices. True. Maybe we'll we'll do that in the Discord so we we have something quick to look up. I should do that when I write my notes. I should have different sets. <laughs> it's that way per arrow? Yeah. Oh, actually, wasn't... I think there was, like, a... It was 20 silver for a bundle of 20. Wasn't that it? It was something like that. Yeah, that, that, that would work out... That would work out... Yeah, about right. Yeah, one silver per arrow is about right. I will take 20. Okay. Yeah, as long as your okay, quiver can hold it. I look over towards um, Echo... And say, would you like the other ten? Because well, I'm more of um, I'm more of an up close like melee fighter. Down. You you guys are yeah. more range, so you could, you would need the arrows more than I would. And I've still yeah, got some I've left, so bow. if you want to buy them, go ahead. So there's ten of them, so that be ten silver. I really appreciate that, Luxu. Thank you. Um, yes, I will take the extra ten. Thank you. Okay, okay. okay. Um, let me double check something. Okay, my. Okay, out of out of just any luck, do you have any improved daggers at all? Any daggers that are currently better than what I have? 
She kind of takes a look at him. Checks him out. Doorbell ring. Hopefully it's not for me. Um, she kind of looks at him. He's like, well, these look okay for now. Uh, I could definitely sharpen them up a little bit for you, but as far as I, as far as I can work, they look fine to me. Hello, Will um, sharpening just out of like not talking to them, like talking to DM, would sharpening them do anything? <laughs> would, would they add anything? That's not okay. It's a th it's uh, just, that it'd make it so you don't it's do aesthetic. less, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, true. Okay, then. Um, well, I'll say I'll, no worries. Thank you. Um, is, is there anything that anyone else can think of that they may need from a flex? I uh, look around to Corin and Echo, Bangkok, and Rokax. Oh, I'm guessing Rokax has had his armor fixed, right? Yeah, yeah, he got his armor Does fixed. Does she sell okay. armor? Does she sell yeah, armor? Would no. She sell, would she sell? Oh, okay. No, she's a simple blacksmith. She mostly makes, like, horseshoes, does minor repairs on metal, stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I thought I pushed my luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll want to be part of a bigger town for, uh, okay. like, special gear. probably have a look so. in Raska for that. Okay, no. That's a bit of a bigger town. Mm -hmm. But um, so, Pankok, Corin, is there anything else you can think of that you may need? Uh, no. That's. I think so. I mean, okay. I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with my leather armor. So. <laughs> okay then. Um, what was um? So I say, okay, well that that's all. Thank you. Uh, may I ask your name? Oh fuck, mate. Uh. <laughs> Put you on the spot, huh? Let's see. Uh. Regalia. That was a lovely name. What name? Regalia. Regalia. Okay. So, um, Regalia, thank you. Thank you for your help. We appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. I mean, I kind of like lead my way off and um, say to the others, I'm on my way to the herbalist. We need to get some, hang on, what was it again? And I need to mix with it. Wormwood. Yes. Okay. Uh, as, as you guys are walking away, you kind of hear in the faint distance of familiar sound song and it's like uh it's a very familiar cool, voice <laughs> yeah, oh, and no. you kind you kind of turn to look and you see a big old caravan wagon <laughs> no. coming outside of town oh, no and uh, you you immediately recognize <laughs> looks like Gax is showing it. up <laughs> oh look he's making his rounds don't you want to go say hi? I just don't say anything. I just walk in towards the herbalist. I'm not saying anything. I don't. I don't want no interaction with this dude whatsoever. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> All right. So you you walk back to the herbalist. Or mm -hmm. you gonna go? Oh. Wait. Did I say? I'm going yeah. To the herbalist. There's a simple herbalist there. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Simple one. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Sure. What What does the rest of the party do? Are you following along? Um, what are you doing? A few things. So you're going to the herbalist too? Yeah. Okay. Well, if we do talk to Gax, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be talking to him for a little bit anyway. It's best to get the wormwood because it doesn't take no time to prepare it. You just literally mix them together and ingest. Um, but it has to be taken within 10 minutes of it being mixed together, though. So if that's done, then we can have a lot more time without having to worry about you guys getting more injured whilst we are talking to Gex. Um, so yeah, I suggest we just mosey Hello, uh, to there. Um, okay, shall I stand outside the herbalist and make sure um, he doesn't like walk too far away and um, then... Yeah, so we don't lose him, we don't miss yeah. him. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. And then I'll, oh, I'll you, go you to mean you're watching Gax to see if he doesn't go far away or the herbalist doesn't go far yeah. away? Oh, okay. So, okay. Gax. Yeah. yeah. He looks like and he's actually going to be setting up herbalist. outside of town, so. Oh, okay. Then. You know, oh, he's, he's making his rounds. Time. Okay. You should come in. Okay, then. I'll go to herbalist as well then. Okay. Excellent. I need to check the price list thingy. It didn't. I don't think I saw warm wood. But, um, let's have a look. Is. It's in spring. It's two gold pieces. Woo! There you go. And we're in, we're in spring as well. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> awesome. Um, also, time is also an antiseptic, and it's two gold pieces. So they both are the same price. 
Okay then, um, I've got two pieces of rue on me, so I'd need two bits of wormwood um, to make two portions of it. But like I said, you guys will need to make an intelligence check minus two. Um, no, wait, no, wait, that'd be a different one, because that's just taking the rue. Wouldn't that be a medicine check minus two? Uh, I think the intelligence check is for the mixing, isn't it? It might be, actually. Okay, we can do that one. But wouldn't that be medicine? Uh, medicine would be like how you're applying it and stuff. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Oof. This is the I first time I've ever had anyone use day. herbs and stuff in any D and D session I played. So <laughs> this is all oh, brand okay, new. Then. All right, then. I'll tell you what. Then yeah. So we'll we'll make our way over to the uh, the herbalist. And um, are they outside? Are they in a house? Oh uh, yeah, they're they're just outside. They have a uh, basic roots and stuff. Um, you can tell that. You know, they have some simple herbs and stuff growing around their okay, little area. So, um, yeah, I'll just I'll walk up and say, Hi, um, was wondering if you had any um, herbs for sale at all. Okay, uh, you you walk on up and in it. It's a very man of short stature, obviously a gnome. He's like, Yo, Fred! Like, uh, hello, my friend. Um, do you have any herbs for sale, by chance? He kind of looks around, he's like, I don't know! I don't, I don't know if I have any herbs for sale, I mean, I'm surrounded by herbs. <laughs> do you, by any chance, have any wormwood at all? Ah, let's see. He kind of, he goes and skips over to the, the little corner patch here, he's like, Wormwood! Only the finest. Fresh okay. from this pile of manure. <laughs> I don't so know if that's where wormworm grows, but whatever. <laughs> he has some extra anti-infection herb. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll buy the... Um, I'll, I, could I have um, two pieces of wormwood? He says, sure! And then he cracks it in half. Two pieces of wormwood. <laughs> it's like no, no. Um, two full pieces of wormwood, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I got you. And he reaches down and he grabs another pair or another piece. Two and a half pieces of wormwood. Obviously, his math is not so great. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll just take it. I'll just take it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wormwood, 2.5. <laughs> um, all right, then, so that'll be minus four, so 45 gold, and I'll take away 50 silver, 17 silver, there you go. Um, so I look over to the others and say, is there anything you guys need? Yes, um, I'm also going to go over, so good afternoon. May I also have the same, please, kind sir? Yes, yes! It will come in handy if I get injured in battle. He kind of reaches down and he just kind of chucks him behind him as he picks him out. It's like, hands up! Chucks him. At least you're, when you, know, you guys are buying this, you're uh, subtracting it from your, your gold and stuff in yeah, the fantasy grounds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's minus four, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, I was also looking to see if you might have some adder's tongue, some basil, and some thyme. Basil and thyme are uh, basic, right? Or common? They should be. Yeah. In their... they, would, they think they should be common, yeah. Okay. Uh, what is it? adder's tongue? Is that common? Um, it... No. No. So, let me see. Do, 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 do. I didn't actually pay attention to that. <laughs> um, how do you know if it's common? Uh, I should say in the, the little blip area. It's kind of rarity. And if it's available in the season. It's available in the season, but... Uh, I'm looking at the thing that uh, Lushu posted. 
time and a bit of bunch of herbs. Can you do me a favor, um, Pancake? Can you post that uh, link in the um, yeah, chat? I was about to because say because I can't find it. I've been trying to find it for a while. In the tavern section. I'm... In the tavern se Oh no, I wonder why I couldn't find it. <laughs> okay, hang on. Um, yeah, I just posted it, so it should be the new one. I just posted it. Okay, awesome. Can we um, pin that? It's all basic. Uh yes. Awesome. Just so we just so we know where to go. That's uh, in the tavern. There's five gold pieces, so I'm gonna say that it might not be, but there's I have one on this list for two gold pieces, so it might be uncommon. So it's um yeah. I, when I was messaging Vasif about it, I was just like, if anything's like you know two gold pieces or less, I was guessing that would mean common. But anything above that would be like, you know, uncommon, rare, and then blah, blah, blah. If this is a basic herbalist, I don't think anything over two gold. Ow. Basic herbalist. Uh, so do you, instead of any adders, um, do you have any cult's foot? Is that a common? Uh, it's two gold pieces, so I'm going to assume yes. Sure. Let's say he has it. Why, yes, let me go get it. I, why did I give him Gax's voice? Shit. And I need uh, at least four things of Colt's foot. Colt's foot? Mm hmm. Mm. He kind of he goes over and he's like, well, the season has not been kind to uh, my dear Colt's foot this year. I can give you two. She works. Okay. So you got two Colt's foot? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I also need the basil and thyme. Yeah, yeah, you can just have those. Or, you pay for them, obviously, but he's got them. Basil? I'm gonna be seasoning up your wounds? It, it can be used as an antidote. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so, Pancog, uh, sorry, Corin, do you need anything? I don't know. I'm I'm trying to look if it's if these are actually in season, but it's not really telling me. Ooh. I was wanting. We're in spring. Yeah, I was even. I would wanting... If it's like the complete opposite season, then I'd guess probably not. But yeah, like mm, around the time, maybe. I was either wanting some um, like a uh, lavender or chamomile just to make like tea. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Those are simple herbs. Okay. And I might just take both of them. The lavender and the chamomile. There isn't a lavender on this list, but chamomile is certainly on this list. Bring in summer. Too I have no clue. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh no, I'm looking at it right now. There are two gold pieces of pop? Yep. For chamomile, uh, their seasons are spring and summer. Um, they're two gold pieces for the herb. There you go. Okay. And they have plant. They have plenty of lavender and chamomile, so you can buy as many okay. bushels as you want. Cool. We'll say uh, one plant of chamomile will make five cups of tea. Oh yeah. Or I'll five get that pots. Way. Depending on how strong you want it. How much does uh, one thing of lavender do? Is it the same? Yeah. Or... Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. No. Okay. So is that um everyone happy? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, I would suggest that we before we head to Raska now. Um, I look towards Pancog and say, well, considering you don't really want to try my remedy, perhaps we should go to the inn to see if we can purchase some honey to mix with your cult's foot to make your potion. I actually like some honey to put in my, my tea, too. <laughs> there you go. That, that sounds good. I was just wanting to add to it since, uh, Apparently the wormwood was in the manure. I, uh, you, you, I would have rinsed it. You see this outside of the, uh, the, 
the herbalist, and he's like, ah, just give it a good scrubbing. Yeah. <laughs> so good. I just, I, I just give Lucio a look. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm trying to help. Like, I understand what you're doing. I just want the extra protection in that because I don't... Don't want a secondary infection. <laughs> uh, I, I was going to say out of character, you need to roll an intelligence minus five. I need to do a minus two. Hey! So, uh, no, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be... Uh, who, oh, it's going to be a difficult roll, dude. I pray for you. I actually hope it works. I hope it works. I hope you don't have to rub them. I, don't, I hope you don't have to rub the manure concoction into your, <laughs> into your wounds. And Corin as well, because that would be nasty. But... Alright, and should we go to the inn? See if we can get some honey? Sure. Okay then, so yeah, we'll make our way over to the inn, I guess. have a heart to heart with the small children. Okay, um, it's as, about as midday now. As to the inn, I'm really trying to sneakily get past Gax without him seeing me. Oh, he, he's outside so, of town. Um, he never actually comes oh, okay, into okay, a town, good. he always sets outside. Oh, okay, good. Um, but right, it's I, about I, I midday now, right now because of <laughs> Rosalia. Is that a name I gave her? Oh, so he, won't, he won't even be set up yet. He'll be napping. Yeah, he, he's, <laughs> just, he's, nap he's showing up. But um, yeah. it's about midday since uh, all the repairs and stuff on your guys' armor and stuff. Uh, but you come up to the inn, and uh, Emmeline and Sam, I think her brother's name was, are downstairs, and she's trying to entertain him, and she's doing what she can to help out the innkeep uh, get ready for stuff because, you know, they don't have the money to pay for it, so she's just doing what she can to... Uh, Help out. Okay. Um, yeah, we need to restock. Yes. Um, so I'll tell you what, we'll do that whilst uh, we're here getting the honey. Um, we'll buy some rations, leave them in a bag. Actually, no, uh, should, how long do rations last? Like, how long do they take till they spoil? Oh, they're, they're like freeze dried. You're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, perfect then. Okay, then yeah, we can buy them now then, I guess, and stock the the house before we leave for Raska. Um, and then by the time we come back from Raska, um, hopefully, Kyrian will be back, and then we can go on more adventures with the kitty. Um, so I'll just um, go up to the, the barkeeper and say, excuse me, sir, do you have any rations that I can buy? Uh, crap, I got, forgot his voice. No, we we, uh, we don't really have travelers come through here that uh, are needing for adventuring parties uh, that we have for sale. But I could sell you some uh, some salted meat and stuff, but you might want to eat it uh, before a couple days. Okay. Uh, maybe it's best to... I'll turn to the others and say, maybe it's best to get some food from the next town, considering it's a bigger town. Um, mm -hmm. My friend here um, needed something from you, and I kind of gestured towards Pancog. He says, what do you what? need? Um, I, 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 I'm just going to look at him and be like, I don't know what you want from me. I am injured. I don't know what I'm trying to say. So I'll pop up and say, I'll just put my hand in my head and just be like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, my friend here, she, she needs honey um, in order to make herself uh, an antiseptic. And our friend um corin here um corin's i guess because of like corin's like dragon hood like it's not really affecting her as much like or is it how's corin doing right now uh they yeah. both just have bites on them but... okay okay but yeah they're not getting used a... or anything they're starting to um, feel the effects from the bites so okay. they need to uh, some medication well, well, I never I said that there was any effect from the bite at all. You guys came up with that. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> they just got so, bit. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was like, why would this affect? Okay, then. All right, then. So um, I'll just say, do you have any honey by any chance? What? But of course. Cool. Okay, so I kind of look over towards Pankong. Like, do you have any idea how much you would need? For you and Corin? Mm, I mean... Corn doesn't doesn't Corin have the Corin just wants it for tea. Yeah, so how much would we need? <laughs> I'll just say I'll just say he he'll get you exactly what you guys need. 
Just give okay, him like so give we'll, him like yeah, forty we'll, silver or something. An, I just need enough to put like it maybe in two cups. That's it. Okay. So <laughs> You'll be happy. Okay, not not too much. <laughs> Sorry, Pankog, you broke up there. I said, am I having to roll to take the medicine, or are you having to roll to make the medicine? <laughs> Um, I think you got to roll to make it. Yeah, and roll you your roll intelligence to, to make the it. Effect and roll the effect it would have on you when you take it. Mm -hmm. So, disadvantage two. You have disadvantage. Oh, you mean minus two, not disadvantage. Oh, you scared me. Yeah, you, you, you make it just fine. And, uh, oh, yeah, you, you apply it. You, uh, this, this. You can feel like the pain kind of subsiding. Should I apply some to? I have no clue. Yeah, if you want to. Okay. We'll, we'll just say uh, you can use Pancog's thing. She she applied it to both yeah. both of you with that one roll. Uh, whilst I'm there, I asked the innkeeper. Um, uh, sorry to be really cheeky, my friend, but would you mind if I was to uh, clean my herbs quickly? In your sink. In their sink? Well, if it's empty. <laughs> it's, it's a medieval <laughs> thing. They don't have running well, plumbing. Well, I don't, I don't think they give a shit about fucking... I don't think they care. Well, he kind of... <laughs> really? He says, uh... She was like, he kind of points out to the back and says, uh... The, the well is back there. And, uh, you can find buckets, whatever you need. Holy shit, like, the so, yeah. coronavirus has, has infected my herbs. <laughs> my herbs, please let me. Clean. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I say thank you, and I'll, I'll leave and um, start washing off the manure from the wormwood that I just bought. Okay. So no one can moan about it. Um, fresh herb Sam now. is starting to get a, a little fussy. Uh, it's obviously starting to get his, to be his nap time. Um, so, Emmeline kind of tries, tries to Soothe him by, uh, she starts singing to him to try to soothe him and, uh, calm him down because he's getting a little rambunctious. Um, but you're out cleaning your herbs. What is the rest of you guys doing? Right. I suggest we go to, um, Raska now to do everything we need to do, stock up on food, and then come back and pick up the kids and take them back yeah. home. Otherwise, they're going to cost us a fortune. <laughs> also, um, do we have any news on how far away Kyrian is? Like, or is Kyrian just going to show up? He's going to show up. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, like, I'm still outside washing my herbs, so I'm waiting for these guys to come out, ready, ready to leave when they are. <laughs> Right, I'm ready to leave. And and the kids are going to cost Lushu a fortune since he's the one that wants to put them up in the. Uh... Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, they have still got one more night there, and it's only two silver per night. And if like if we wait a week, we've got a hundred gold each coming to us. So two silver is nothing. It's fine. I'll happily pay it. But for now, yeah. we should go to Reska. Oh, I'm guessing you guys are outside, and we're talking now. Um, so, yeah. so, so, you're not. Now. Are you not going to tell Emmeline or Sam that you think you killed the beast? No. Uh, I, 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 they, they seem happy in their own little world at the moment. Let them be. You know, they're running around. They're having that uh, sort of time. Let them be kids. Don't give them anything that. I think. You know. I think we should break it to them when we open the house and we stock it up. We can say we've uh, defeated the monster and we've stocked your house up and. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, wouldn't they kind of know? Because doesn't uh, the inn, well, Quinn at least, who was in the inn, have the head? Or do we still have the head? I think we still have you the head. You guys still have that. He's not going to take that. <laughs> okay, then. Well, you know, we, we, we could be incredibly morbid and just hang the head like, as like a trophy in their house. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> they would <laughs> love that. A, re a revenge trophy. I'm sure know? they would love it. <laughs> I think uh, uh, it might be a little guys. bit too much for little kids. Uh, uh, little I'm calling social there. services cereal. <laughs> <laughs> we could stick the head on the. No. <laughs> the head on this bike outside of town. That might. Do it's medieval times. They're a lot more badass than they are now. Let's be fair. <laughs> True. <laughs> at, the age, at the age of four, they were like, you know, bow and arrow trained. 
No, this is a. But they're also not barbarians, just, you know, right? heads and pikes outside of around their town. <laughs> <laughs> never know, you never know. But anyway, so yeah, we should probably um, make our way to Raska. Um, are we yeah. going, I say to the others, do, are we going to see the wizard? The wonderful, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Well, yeah. 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 See, we hang out too much, dude. <laughs> or, or are we going to see the herbalist first? What do you guys think? Corin and Pancock, how are you feeling? Are you feeling a bit more able to maybe last a bit longer without treatment? Or yeah, do you need treatment not. now? I feel better. Okay. Corin, what about you? Well, I think I actually used the same stuff that uh, Pan Pancock gave me, so... God. What is that? Fucking that an, amber, an amber alert. Oh, shit. Oh, geez, that was loud. Um, okay. Um, so you guys are going to, right as you're about to leave the inn and you open the door and you walk out, you see the entire town has gathered around outside the inn. And they see you all there and they all start clapping and like cheering for you. Because uh, at that point, I, I take the out the head from the my bag. The innkeeper has uh, let everyone know. <laughs> you take I just it hold, out. The he- hold the head up high, dude. I'm just like, yeah. They're all cheering. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Don't stop talking. Are you good? Echo, start smiling. Yeah. I just want my. I just whisper. I want my glory. Yeah. <laughs> just still holding it up. I want my still glory. <laughs> And I, I kind of like I kick it into the crowd, <laughs> just Gross. kick the head into the crowd, and let them let them do as they will with it. No, I don't know if I, it's their, it's been their problem. They should have like the the happiness of doing whatever they want with the head. That's it. Like they're the ones that had to deal with it, not us. We just killed it. We don't need to carry the head with us. It's not nothing's gonna bother them anymore. Pancake, you're very quiet when you back up. I can't even hear you. I said most people don't know what to do with the decapitated head. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> that's why that's why kicks it away. What Emma, are Emmeline kind of <laughs> f- comes out from the inn because she's hearing all the cheering going on. She doesn't know what the heck's happening, but uh, she sees Lucio holding a head. She's right behind him. She's kind of <laughs> confused, like what the heck. <laughs> she's looking around, but she sees all the townsfolk, and then she kind of slinks out from behind the door, and she uh, kind of looks up, eyes full of questions. <laughs> Um, Do you want um, to sit down um, so I can explain what you've just seen? (laughs) (laughs) She kind of just blinks. She's confused why everyone is cheering and why you have a head. (laughs) I look at Cora and I say, do not say anything to the small child. (laughs) Take a seat and I'll explain it. Why, Why is everyone cheering? As well. I think the best thing to do in this situation is just do it like a band-aid and rip it off. Dude. Yep. <laughs> just uh, rip it off. <laughs> the monster that was tormenting everyone. Well, everyone that went, that didn't come back. Well, we were the people that came back and we came back with its head. And that's why everyone's cheering. I'm sorry that that sight, if the sight was too much for you. And we sorry that we saw that. But that's why they were cheering. Uh, her eyes start to well up, and she says, It's really over? You, it's really you killed over. Him? She's, we killed him. Lucy's still Twice. standing there with a, you know, handful of hair hanging it, and she goes, <laughs> Thank you. And she goes and wraps her arms around you. And then, uh, <laughs> after a couple of seconds, she remembers, uh, her promise, and, uh, she kind of steps away, and she reaches behind, and she pulls out her family's dagger. And uh, she kind of just hands it off. She looks sad no. that she's parting from it. No, no. We we agreed not to take it, didn't we? we yeah, agreed. we couldn't take but, um, it. That, that we, we said that um, when we were around our camp at night, we haven't got a song to sing. So we asked her to write us a song instead. Yeah. That we, we could and... sing to keep our spirits up whilst we're on the road. Um <laughs> So I, I'll um, put the head away before <laughs> talking to her. <laughs> because the last thing she wants is just a rogue in her face with another face. Um, so, so I say I kind of um, take the dagger and hand it back um, to her and say, no, 
Remember our promise. We wanted the song. She she drops her head quickly, looks at the floor, and she, with her foot, she kind of starts tracing a little pattern with her toes on, on the thing, and she goes, and she says, I remember. And uh, she she's obviously very nervous. She says, I did write you a song. And then uh, she kind of looks up, seeing if, like, well, what is your reaction to that? <laughs> just, oh. <laughs> it's just, oh. She, she looks um, around to the town, and the town has started to quiet down because uh, they heard that uh, she wrote a song, and they know she has a really good voice, but she doesn't say it, or she doesn't sing out in public, generally. I Ever since her parents that. died. I just look upon this interaction with our rogue, who is not a rogue. He is a big ol' softy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Technically a pervert if you talk to the right merchant. <laughs> um. So, you guys want to hear your song then? Sure. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. So uh, we we kind of I kind of step off of like the the step where like you know, she has like the higher platform. I stand with the rest of the townsfolk. Okay. Um, she she kind of drops her head again, and uh, she quickly like skedaddles inside the inn. And after a few minutes, she kind of walks out with a a little guitar kind of thing. And uh, she, as she walks out, the the crowd hasn't dissipated at all, and she kind of looks around, nervous, and uh, she kind of takes a couple steps back in the inn. Uh, and you can see her starting to clam up. You guys do anything? Um... I, I tell her, it's okay, you can do this. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. She, uh... She kind of looks down at her guitar, and then she looks back up, and she takes a... a big deep breath, and she goes and sits on the, the step to the entrance of the inn, to the side. She, you can tell she's still trying to slink herself away from uh, being the center of attention, but she's going to play you the song for that uh, she wrote. And uh, all the townsfolk go quiet. And uh, she starts to play. Tell me when did it change? Why did you go away? And tell me, can we be the same? Cause I don't know your name anymore. No, I don't know your name. I don't know. 
right, that was her song. And straight away, I just start clapping. Lucy just starts clapping. Yeah, after a, after a short delay, the the crowd is in uh, complete awe, and they just erupt. Yeah. And cheers, and everyone crying, and all happy, and a bunch of the crowd comes over, and they're all like, just, you know, just giving her all sorts of praise. She can't even understand what's going on because no one's heard her sing since her parents have been killed, and no one actually really heard her voice. And uh, it kind of just blew everyone away. Echo was crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm close to crying in real life, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I'm I, right? I was like, mm. was a <laughs> imagine, I was imagining a little girl on there, like all this, all this like scenario, and it was just, <laughs> oh mate. Oh, I'll, I'll post a great. link to this song. <laughs> Uh, later, great. and I'll I'll link it in the the YouTube and stuff. That was that was written in 30 minutes from some girl, uh, random on a Discord challenge. It's like so that was, what? That was really good, that freaking was talented, thing, amazing. No way. Amazing. Yeah. Um. But anyway, yeah. Uh, amidst all of the uh, the stuff going on, um, I gather around the the others and say. Okay then, guys. So I think now's the time we should start heading um, to Raska. Um, but is, is there any way you guys could possibly sneak me past Gak? <laughs> no, you are the not. rogue asked someone to sneak him past. Oh, yes, yes, because I'm gonna fail this roll, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna have to roll a nat twenty each for him not to notice me. <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> Before we leave, um, can I uh, give a note to um, the girl um, saying, um, "You're, you know, it's over now," and um, you know, just uh, a smile on the bottom, you know, just for her to remember, you know, the day and everything. Yeah, um, you say that to her in uh, her eyes. Obviously, she's full of tears, and she just, uh, she can't quite get the words out because there's a lump in her throat, but, uh, she mouths, thank you. You're welcome. We miss you, little, little champ. You look after yourself. She, she kind of, she nods, and she takes her guitar back into the inn. Corn hugs her. <laughs> okay. Oh. She gives hugs to everyone that comes and gives her a hug. Stop, <laughs> <laughs> I give her a hug, yes. Blue shoe from Gats. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to... Hang on, hang on one second. Let me... Do you have a cloak? Hood. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm having a look. If not, we can probably... Uh, yeah, you, let me see if you I would have something. a cloak if you took that cloak of uh, okay. Elven Shadows or whatever it was. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what? I'll just, I'll just deal with the encounter. Let's go. <laughs> I don't, there's no way of getting past it. No, let's, let's just go. Okay. <laughs> um, as you uh, begin to leave town, uh, you're, you're about 50 feet out from the town. and uh, Let's see. One of you... Okay. Uh, well, he l just left. Now we gotta wait for him. How very rude. Rude. <laughs> Love it. So he doesn't have to encounter in the kitchen. I see you in the kitchen, Meg. Boy, isn't he lucky. Speaking of kitchen, I got me some cookies. Oh, I can't say that out loud. Wake cookies. the dogs up. Um, okay, I'm skipping it. Loose, you didn't see it. <laughs> we're we're re-rolling. Um, Pancog, you notice off Love you. to the distance, a little uh, directly to your right in the distance, you see Shiloh LaBeouf clap in the distance. Oh yeah, Cereal's going to miss that. Uh, okay, sorry. But he, he uh, I was just telling that uh, Pancog notices to her right in the distance. Uh, Shiloh the Buff starts, it's clapping, and he's in the distance just clapping at you. And then he slowly, like the, it looks like the wind kind of 
takes him out and he kind of fades away. away. <laughs> I, I don't oh my, my, uh, my party members, I just assume that it's a hallucination induced by my body. <laughs> I just assume it's something to do with parallel universes and leave it there. I just have that song in my head. I'm I just humming you. it. <laughs> the rest of you noticed. Oh, did we not notice? Yeah, it was just Pancock. She just oh, okay. noticed. Okay. <laughs> Again, I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm just going to assume that it was <laughs> Alright. Um, okay. You're uh, continuing forward, and uh, you see Gax, he's setting up his tent, singing his old, his goblin songs. Oops. I had all my stuff turned down. And, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, he notices you approaching. <coughs> he's just like, oh, wow. he's just like, ah, hello, friends. <laughs> I kind of let Pancog take the lead, because, you know, she, like, speaks <laughs> goblin, and... Mm -hmm. You've got more of a more of a connection with Gax than I do. So oh. You go ahead. You go ahead. I feel like this is discrimination. Are you only saying that because I'm the only one that speaks Goblin? Yeah, so, no, I'm saying that because if I talk to him, he'll try to like flirt with me again. <laughs> and well, he's already gonna try to flirt with you. Situation that you're putting yourself in. It is, isn't it? You should have listened the first time when I said, don't do it. <laughs> what? It's Which is why I'm not doing it now. <laughs> I'm taking your advice. Go ahead. After the fact. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I say... I see. Uh, goblin. Hello there. Just... <laughs> Fancy meeting you all out here, and uh, he kind of looks around. And he's like, Vilmic, Vilmic, right? Yes, Vilmic, the wonderful town of Vilmic. No, no, uh, this is Witwick. Ah, same difference. Hello, might I offer you some finest of wares? What wares do you have? It is not a question of what I have, but what you want. He kind of looks over at Lucio. He, he kind of <laughs> side eyes and says, he kind of breaks down a bit and he's like, I have a confession to make, my friends. When, when we first met, he kind of <laughs> takes a deep breath and says, <laughs> Put a tracking card in Lucius pouch. <laughs> Is that why he keeps following Lucio? Oh my gosh! Oh my god! He's like crying as you guys are laughing now. <laughs> Outstanding. <clears throat> Actually. It, is he? Did he say that in a, like common? No, he said that in common. That? You all understood that. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, That's I, I hilarious. <laughs> he uh, he's kind of confused at your response, but uh, he obviously sees that you guys aren't too upset or anything. Well, I freaking am, so I empty everything I've got and try to find it. I <laughs> just panic. Yeah, try to get rid of it as soon as possible. <laughs> and then I, uh, as he's freaking out, not paying attention to me, I stayed at the goblin. Uh, give me another, and I'll place it after he finds the one in his pack. <laughs> he's kind of confused, and, um... Can I roll to see if I hear that? <laughs> sure. It's in goblin. Yeah, that's true. She's speaking in Goblin, so... She said in Goblin, uh... This is the nice thing about having, like, five languages. Uh, he, he kind of looks at you curiously, and he goes... He kind of responds in Goblin, he's like... These are... These are free, like... I use these so uh, people can call me when they are in need of any special wares or assistance or hirelings. Like, yes, uh, take as many as you want. Give them to your friends. Good old Gax's is good goods are on the goblin? on the prowl. He's speaking in common or in goblin? Oh, he spoke that in goblin. Okay. Um. 
actually the last part where he says uh, Gax's good goods are available. Whatever. They're, they're always available. He says that in common. But the rest he says in Goblin. Uh, I say this and, and Goblin to him. Um, I just I just want to facilitate the love uh, between you and Lushu <laughs> by letting you keep track of where he's at. Uh, he, he's a red goblin, so it's hard to tell um, anyone that is not uh, familiar with goblins, but he starts to turn purple and, uh, <laughs> because he's blushing. That's that's how red goblins blush. They turn purple. <laughs> um, but uh, he kind of waves his hand in the air. And he's like, anyways, anyways, let's get us down to business. Uh, and, uh, and then uh, you notice in the back on the the setup he's got going on, there's uh, there's some contracts and information above. And it looks like there are uh, some people that you guys can actually, or people can hire. They're like extra mercenaries. That you can uh, hire to help with quests and stuff. Uh, Lushu, do you want to go take a look at the contract? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll go take a look. So I'll go have a look at the contract, see what's available. Um, the, the contracts are for actual, they're not like uh, bounties or anything, they're contracts of like you can hire. Uh, additional oh, mer no. like mercenaries. Oh, um, yeah. to help with mission. Unless Echo wants to write it in her notebook or her journal, so that we I'll write everything down. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, um, that, we know for the future. they don't yeah, have any names. They just kind of down. they just kind of explain. Uh, spe <gasps> excuse me, the specialties. Um, you see one uh, mentioning it's a, a person <laughs> with uh, immense strength in their big. Um, they they just kind of do a little bit of spell casting. Uh, they got a big old weapon, um, heavy armored kind of person. They also have a a quick sneaky kind of person that uh has a little bit of a ranged attacks, um, but they're a bit nimble. And uh, there's also a direct like a, a person specializing in a uh, wild like a magic like uh, spells and uh, some some dark arcs or arcs. Arts, and uh, there's also a uh, another kind of burly person that is just big ol' weapon and smash things. And uh, that seems to be all that he has available right now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> before we leave, I go ahead and I place in my pack, um, I want to say a handful of the, the little tracker things. Oh, you want a handful? Yes, I want a handful, but I want can I can I make a roll to see if Lushu notices me taking any more? Uh sure. Okay. Uh see, what would it, what Lushu, would it roll roll a roll, roll a perception. Slicing? You gotta see if you see it. Is it sleight of hand? Uh yeah, Ooh. yours would be sleight of hand. <laughs> yes. Uh yeah, she <laughs> Lucio, you're you're too busy dumping out your pack like a madman <laughs> looking for this this little yes. tracking card thing. <laughs> this what about if the FO sees or anyone else? Yeah, anyone that's actually like watching Pancog and um, Gax interact s see this. But uh, Lucio's trying to rid his pack of uh, this monstrosity of. Tracking of Gax. I uh, I look at because uh, I'm assuming that Echo is now paying attention to me. Uh huh. And I uh, I casually look at uh, Echo and just make the universal sign of shh. <laughs> All right. Ow. Um. I okay. Do the same thing to Corin if she notices too. <clears throat> We'll say Corin is just watching. Uh, she's fascinated by whatever the heck Lushu is doing because this is a uh, okay, so I know kind of uh, something you, new you that she's not used to. Because you did the because you found this just as funny as I did. Okay, um, so what do you do with uh, this information you guys have? 
You guys continue? Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess you say goodbye to Gax. Oh, he'll fill you in on those tracking things, by the way. He's just... Yeah. Uh, if you ever need anything, just pull one of those out, out and say, I desire Gax's good goods. And then, uh... Uh, Hang on, did he, did he say that in common? Yes. Alright then, in that case I say... Wait, hold what? Um, he says, why one of my tracking cards? Oh, so you've given someone tracking cards? He says, kind of blinks, he's like, yes, you also have one in your pack. <clears throat> Which I am ashamed <laughs> to say. So you've just given. Oh no, no, no! Someone. His his phrase is "Give me the goods, guys." That's that's what you, <laughs> that's what you have to say to okay. use them. So you're telling me that someone other than me has tracking devices on them. People who come to his store, I'm assuming. Pancock, can I check your bag, please? Because you're <laughs> the only person who has purchased something from this man so far. I haven't purchased anything. I, was I saw purchasing. you. I saw you talking. I would like to check your bag, please. This, goblin, like has, your this bag. goblin. This goblin has given you away. This goblin has really landed you in it. Um, I, I think he's given it away. So, can I? Can I? Can I? For ease of mind, can I please see your bag? <laughs> uh, so I like how you're trying to say that a noble. Would dare lie to somebody of a lower standard. That is disgraceful. That is shameful. That you would think that I would stoop so low as to put more things in your pack. Can I roll to see if I can tell that he's lying? Sure. You have to roll deception as well. Hancock. So what do I roll? Investigation. Uh, you would, uh, or per perception. Uh, you will roll deception, Pancog, because you're lying to him. And uh, Pan uh, or Lucy will do perception. Okay. God. Hmm. <clears throat> it's not that far apart, though. <laughs> I want to see your bag. <laughs> I want to see your bag. <laughs> he does. Uh, he doesn't believe you, of, of course. Uh. <laughs> All right. See, I should have rolled an advantage then, because the goblin already said. <laughs> to be fair. I did not already place them in my bag yet. That's true. You did, so this, I, is a, this is a player interaction. This is you guys. <laughs> I gladly hand over my bags, knowing full and well that I have not... Okay, whilst, whilst she gives me her bag, what's in there ready for me to steal? Well, it's in there, uh, anything that's in her inventory that she's not wearing. Oh, okay, oh, let me see that. You see what I've done? <laughs> you see what I've done? It's like, like, you're the one saying I don't play enough like a rogue, so here we go. <laughs> um, let's play. You want to play? We'll play, dude. Um, so let's see what you've got. Let's have a look. <laughs> what have you I mean, as long as it can fit in a, like a bag, you know, like a backpack within reason. Okay, um... What have you got? A scroll of pedigree, 50 arrows, basil, bedroll, braces of archery, which is on me, clothes, fine, me. coal wart, coals, colt's foot, dice set, henbane, leather, longbow, mess kit, nap weed, uh, potion, rations, rope, short sword, time, and a water. Well, hang on. Is um, is the gold in the bag? She, that's no. in one of that's one of her side bags, her ah, little side pocket. Ah, <laughs> I don't. I, 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 <laughs> um, I casually keep it on me, on my person. Yeah, you got you got your little money sack. You don't put that. Just drop it in a backpack. Okay. Yeah, that would be a dumb. I'm a noble. Of that would be I a dumb. <laughs> well, there, there, there's nothing in there. The Oh, hang on. I'll tell you what. Bear with me. I've got an idea. In that case, because I know something's going on and I know she was lying to me, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to put... Um, some Dana Berries 
crushed up inside. Um, I don't know if I have to roll. To wait, wait, what, were the berries it, already I'm crushed up? It, it, says, it says no preparations required or three weeks if you want to like cook them to make take down bigger animals like okay. mammals and like shit like that. But you can have them instantly without um, just by. You just had them crushed. Put them in a drink, or yeah, you can just crush them in your hand and put them in a drink or something like that. It Are says. You um, All right, you have to roll a sleight of hand no. to see if you get him in there without her noticing. Okay. And then Pancog, you're gonna have to roll a per, uh, perception. Sleight of hand. I've got a plus six a sleight of hand. If I fail this, I'm not gonna be happy. Okay. okay. Yeah. You you sneak him in. Okay. I'll put one in there. <laughs> there you go. And all it does. All well, it does you guys are doing this. I'm eating my cookies. <laughs> All it does is make you fall asleep, but it's a natural sleep, and you can be woken up at any time. Like, if you've just, like, fallen asleep in a chair and someone touches you awake, like, by the shoulder or anything, you naturally wake up. It doesn't give you any sort of Before. thing. But um, it does say that I, um, I do get um, three D10 uses out of the entire lot that I've got, but because I've put them in, I guess I don't roll that. It's just one goes in. Sure. Because I'm not... Right. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna mess with my other herbs that I have. Before this goes, Bangkok, we'll say that you wrap goes. your other herbs up in like protective stuff so they don't get fucked by it. Like you do that. Before, um, before this goes like a, a, a never ending loop, um, Echo stands up and says, I can't watch this anymore. Bangkok did buy some more and um, uh, she. Uh, did um, tell us to be uh, <laughs> quiet about it, but I, I think I think as a team, you know, you should stick together, and I, I, and I definitely don't think you should. Um, Mama Echo stepping up. Definitely, uh, definitely shouldn't think that you should make someone stalk someone. You should do the <laughs> opposite if we are in a team together. But that's just me. So can we just stop this now and just be a team and get on with the quest? You guys just got mommed. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You see Corin just nodding next to Echo. <laughs> like she's she, like, like she understands. Like yes, yes, yes. I so understand I everything. So you did like, <laughs> like agree. <laughs> but only if Lushu agrees to the truth, and because I don't believe he didn't do anything to me back. <laughs> well, you know, I haven't done anything to you this entire Talking time. <laughs> That is a lie. You guys from me. I have retaliated. I have never started it. I have retaliated. No. You mocked my rogue skill, so I, I failed. But anyway. You did. So I'll you say. That we met that merchant, and you decided that you were going to steal from the merchant. Instead, the merchant that you You grabbed his ass. Told you not yeah. to do it. And That's you did it anyway. <laughs> and then you, you turned back around and tried to steal blatantly from me. Yeah. Of course, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> and you steal from me every time so far. Okay, I've tried to save your life as well. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, but I, I moved past it. I, 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 I've been a bigger person. I, I, I turn and I just, I just kind of go about and say, Gax, pleasure as always. <laughs> and um, I can look back to Pancog and say, destroy those trackers. <laughs> but we will keep one for the sake of merch. Who will keep the tracker? Uh, oh, That's I look your at choice. And I say, no random tracking. I suggest Corin <laughs> take the tracker, maybe? Yeah, we'll give it to Corin. <laughs> I don't want it. Save this bit. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I hand uh, Gax back his trackers all except for one. Okay. I take my Wait, did, bag did back. I, I I in my bag. Can I see if I find anything in my bag that's not supposed to be there? Uh, not right now Wait, because now. yeah, you guys already did your rolls right over your herbs and stuff. Mm -hmm. so anything herbs we're gonna use is gonna give a slight sleep effect, also. No, uh, like I said um her her. When she gets herbs, she wraps them in like a protective thing. Oh, okay. So, so her, her, her oh, herbs yeah. won't be tainted. Okay. 
Oh, so I guess we're on our way to Raska. Okay. Yes. Uh. Okay. What's the first um, plan when we get to Raska? Because we have, was it two or three things to do when we get there? Well, you're looking for uh, the wizard, right? Yeah, the wizards. Um, that's the main one that sticks out in my mind. And then you were going to look for a, a person to possibly check out your guys' wounds. Okay, I reckon wizard first and wounds, or wounds first and wizard, depending on how bad you think the wounds are. But Qu Quinn did seem quite worried when at the inn. Excuse me. Well, and I think said that going, it needed going get you guys healed up first. Yeah. That would be the most important thing. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so you guys <clears throat> head to Raska? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, how far away is Raska, by the way? And how much longer is um, Pankog's uh, antiseptic going to work for both of them? Is it going to last until we get there? Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, you, you have about four hours travel to continue to get okay. to Raska. You're pretty close. Awesome. So yeah, I think we should uh, go. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, you guys let's... are on your way to Raska. Um, nothing uh, crazy eventful happens. Uh, you, Raska's in the distance, and you kind of. I, I gotta keep quit saying that because it's no fun to be like it's in the distance. What do you do? Keep walking. Okay. Um, so you guys get to um, you get you get to Raska, and uh, it's a significantly larger town than one that you than the ones you've been into. Uh, before and in uh, the center of the town is a very large tower. I'm guessing that's the tower that the wizard's at. I'm not uh, gonna confirm that. that. That is player <laughs> stuff. <laughs> you we need to check it out, or one of us okay. needs to check it out to make go sure. First, I think we should go past it, um, go straight into the town, and try and find that um, uh, that medic, that advanced herbalist. To help Pankog and Corin. Okay. Um. So, so you kind of just ask around town where uh your oh, med no. medical practitioner yeah. is or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you kind of grab a a person that's off doing their daily business. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. Kind of just ask them. Uh. Where's your nearest medical professional? He's like, uh -huh. sorry. He says, well, I suppose it depends on what you're looking for. He's like, yeah, we got our simple herbalist over there for uh, minor tonics and uh, basic heals, or uh, if you need to take a good sleep, or you want to see some uh, fun colors, uh, we got uh, the the Grand Wizard Eldred up top, who's uh specializing in magical tinctures and uh special medicines uh what, what are you looking for well our friends here um got bitten quite badly after fighting quite a uh, a strong man that lived in the woods, and when I say strong, he he died twice. Um, and, and he she died needs healing twice. <laughs> yes. He, he kind of looks. Um, he looks at you, kind of like these people are crazy. Look, he's like, well, well, yeah. You, no. I would suggest you go talk to the wizard then. Uh, Maybe he'll give you something for that uh, strange mind. Or, I don't know, these crazy people. And he kind of starts walking off. Want... Just muttering to himself how he thinks you guys are crazy. The guy's already permanently dead now. Like, the person that came back to life twice. Yeah, he's he's permanently dead. Yeah, but he's the one that bit you. So we need to tell the person that that's... We need to describe who bit you so that you know, because the person, Quinn at the inn, said that he needs spe the specialist person in that town specifically to heal that specific wound by that specific uh, person. We, uh, uh, like, I say to the dude, so 
We just came from Witwick. We just we killed the monster that had been plaguing the town. And we know for sure it was dead because I stabbed it through its heart the first time. And then on the way of dragging it back, it came back to life and then I decapitated it. So do not play games with us right now. I'm not in the mood. I am injured. I am a little hangry. Hangry. Alright. Uh, he kind of just looks at you and he's like, Then go and make your way to see Eldred then. Jeez. You can find him in the tower. Thank you for the directions. And then I turn promptly right back around and I tell Lushu and Echo and Corin where we could find the herbalist. I kind of nod and say, Let's go. Let's get you fixed up. Towards the um, the tower, I guess. Okay. Uh, You get to the tower. uh, It's it's lightly guarded, but uh, you can tell that they're not too afraid of anyone going in the tower because they trust the wizard would be able to handle whatever problems they have. Um, they kind of the two two guards outside with their halberds kind of just uh, look at you. They're in heavy armor and they just speak say, "Speak your business." Like, hi, we are here to see Eldred. Kind of says. But of course. We have two oh. injuries from Whitwick, from the Whitwick beast. Two of us got bitten. It says, um, oh, you're, you're here for uh, medical treatment then? Yes. Um, one of the guards uh, looks over at the other one and the, the kind of nods. It's like, please, uh, if, if it's not too much trouble, we must uh, investigate the wound first. So as not to disturb Master Elred, or Eldred. I, uh, have no shame, and I promptly start taking out part of my top, since, you know, the guards are men, right? Yeah. Okay. Ow. I take off half my top and show them where I got bit on my shoulder. One of them comes over, and, uh, he observes, and, uh, he, he sees that it's kind of a it's a it's a nasty wound he sees, but you've been a, you've applied some stuff and he goes he kinda of nods to himself, it's like, Yeah, that that could warrant a visit. You may pass. And he steps back, he goes back to his post and he he kinda of opens up the door behind him. And uh you could pass. I decide to hold her. You decide to what? Oh, I got you. Um, as you guys walk through the door, you you see uh, there's a basic entryway with, you know, it looks like uh, that's where materials and stuff get delivered. There's a bunch of boxes and stuff. Um, but there is a very long spiraling staircase uh, going up. With uh, various torches spaced evenly out to properly light the area. Okay, so up we go, I guess. <laughs> so the only way is up. The only way is up. Well, I was going to say, I feel like me and Corin should take up the middle, as you and Echo are not injured, so... In case we get yeah, makes sense to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Shoot first. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys are making your way up. Um, well, no, maybe Rokak should go first. That's fine. <laughs> boy. Uh, yeah, well, he's hurt too. He's, he got his blood caught in a bear trap. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he <laughs> he's just hobbling around with a bear trap. He's true, he's true. Um, he's hobbling at the back. Th- there's a couple floors on the way up of different um, uses, obviously. One's like an alchemist lab, and one is kind of a various just test laboratories and stuff here and there. Uh, you you kind of don't spend much attention because you're obviously just looking for uh, the this wizard. Um, and you make your way to the very top floor. Uh, you open the door. There's a very uh, ornate door. And uh, you, you kind of open it up into a very large room. Uh, it's very brightly lit and decorated. And uh, you see a man in a very large red robe <coughs> with, like, golden trim and stuff. And uh, another kind of person... Uh, helping him out that shuffles around. He's kind of in some common clothes, but uh, you can tell he's well taken care of. And uh, they seem to be uh, in the middle of some uh, writing some books. And uh, you see, like, the wizard. 
he like snaps his fingers every now and then and then the person just naturally responds and runs over to the different sides of the room and brings him over more stuff and sets it in front of him they don't hear you enter yet um i politely <clears throat> to gain their attention the wizard uh he's busy writing in this book and he doesn't even lift his head but he kind of raises his eyes at you and it says he kind of waves off his hand he's like ah we, we can't be bothered with, or we should give him a voice hmm how about something like this uh i don't know this might work we can't be bothered right now please please leave us be i turned to my other my uh <laughs> do one of you want to handle this or shall i <laughs> I, I'll just take, take a step Oops. forward and say, I laughed in his voice <laughs> I'll take a step forward and be like I'm sorry but we have two injured people here severely injured um, the three, is it three? yeah uh, two. Oh, Rokax has the bear trap injure, injury and oh, yeah. Hancock oh, okay, and Corrin have the yeah, okay. bites okay but, but um, for the bear trap injury isn't that just like a normal medicine not the magic medicine that yeah, we're going to get from him specific. so this, this I mean specifically it would be two right mm -hmm. or would he be able to heal Rokax also he probably could yeah okay well we'll, we'll say three then okay, okay. Um, so we, we have uh, we have three injured party members with us um, two of which are of unknown power and one of which um, is a simple bear trap shouldn't be any problem um, no, well, we really need your help. The first two were from the Whitwick Beast that's been uh, bothering that town. Uh, okay. Uh, you say that, and he's like, oh, it's, it's simple, uh, simple. Uh, hold on. You came highly hmm. recommended. Also, so just so go, you know. go see Harold's, go see Harold's. She, she, she can she can patch you up just fine. For a wound that was inflicted by Thank one, you so you much. Have to live not only once but twice until it got decapitated. Uh, he kind of responds, just like, "I told you, I can't be." And he finally looks up, and he makes a motion over to uh his helper, <laughs> and he uh tells him, essentially motions him to leave, and uh the helper kind of. Walks by you guys and bows a little bit to you, and then uh, he he walks out backwards as he grabs the door and he shuts it as he's walking out backwards from the thing. The wizard uh, slowly stands up and he slowly walks over to you with amazing grace. He just kind of looks over at all of you, and then he says, "You're Aldarians, are you not?" I think I would say, like, we are from Aldaria. Well, we, we, that's where we met. Um, well, you're all, uh, it's like a big country, yeah. and so, like, yeah, okay, you're all then. from Aldaria. Yeah. Yeah, we're from Aldaria. Okay, Aldaria. so we are, yes. But how do you know? Does that matter? Everyone we've met so far does not even know, remember it existed. He kind of keeps looking over at you guys, and, uh, he he uh he kind of he specifically focuses on you, Pancog, and he goes. So far, this is true. It's like, from my understanding, nobody remembers the great city of Eldaria, and I'm finding as each day goes by, I, I remember less and less. Please follow me. And he kind of leads you past uh, the, the big table with all the books and the inks and stuff that he was writing on. You guys observe, uh, there's a big old, big old book. You can't tell what it's written there, but there's many different kinds of inks, and it's very ornate uh, writing and stuff in there. And he kind of leads you behind it into uh, another little smaller room um, that you all can squeeze in, but you're kind of shoulder to shoulder in a circle. And uh, he kind of stands on the other side, and there's a big, uh, glowing, kind of galaxy star-ridden orb that just kind of of shifting, swirling stars and s different inks and smoke 
uh, inside it. He goes, I saw the destruction of your city. Please tell me what you can. Aldaria was attacked. There were some kind of demon monsters attacking it. Um, we were very lucky to make it out alive. And then it, like, just like that, it disappeared behind us. Everyone, everything, just gone. No one and now, remember. Uh, and there was a giant our, scorpion. Our memories <laughs> are quite fading uh, as well. Quite lucky to escape you were. Uh, over the past century, I've been seeing slow increase of strange anomalies such as what happened to your city. The destruction what, what of Aldaria being the most significant that I've seen. Warehouse has been affected. Minor things Is here and there. One area? Uh, nothing to the level of a, an entire city just disappearing from not only existence, but from memory. Uh, this is very strange and powerful magic, but uh, there's been cases of entire civilizations turning into animals. There's been entire cases of various anomalies and strange beasts occurring throughout the world that have no explanation or reason being around. Why so concentrated on just one place? It makes no sense. Oh, it's not just one place. He kind of waves his hand over the orb and thing and kind of, uh, it kind of, the, the smoke kind of swirls out and it actually reveals, uh, like the continent itself. And, um, you can see light pings happen where, um, they have marked, uh, uh stranges of occurrences like this and it slowly. You take a look. And it, it zooms out into the global sphere of, uh, the planet. And as it rotates, you can actually see light pings happening every now and then on uh, occurrences of strange anomalies. This is not just Can limited to our, our area. These lights, these are things disappearing? These are strange anomalies of where we're finding common traces of the magic used that probably that was similar to what happened in Altaria. Uh, it could be uh, people disappearing. It could be, uh, you know, no, uh, civil. Like I said earlier, civilizations completely losing their memory and resorting to that of animals. Um, anything that is just okay. unnatural. So, they they all have a specific do, taint of magic. What we have we just know, seen. Sorry, go on. Do we know what the source of the magic could possibly be, or who? I've spent the last hundred years trying to figure that out. The source. Have you think... done any research um, regarding Aldaria before uh, the city was destroyed? Research? No. It was just a very grand city of metropolis scale. And uh, everyone knew about it. And after this, the event, I have met, I can count on one hand, the amount of people that recall Aldaria, not now including you. What I we wonder... have seen, is it happening right now, or is this what has happened? The, so the every pings? time we see a light, yeah, yeah, are they happening like those are what we have tracked to have happened in the past? Oh, okay. Can we tell the future if... from that thing? Yeah, is there a pattern that we can see? There's no pattern so far. It seems he kind of waves his hand around a bit. He goes, we have a timeline that you can see, and it seems to be tracking in a path for the first 20, 30 years, and then it just glows global. I was wondering if, if you had any books on any of these places that have, uh, any of these cities that have vanished, if that would bring back any memory. There's only one city that has vanished, and it's yours. Hmm. Do the people that went missing ever show up? Not that we have found. There is a current theory, though. He kind of walks over and squeezes by a couple of you to get to the bookshelf that's kind of behind, and he pulls out a book, and he says, 
we seem to have found some sort of correlation. It's in theory right now. He kind of he, he opens the book a bit. And he says, "It seems once people disappear, they turn into some shadow beings in another location." We don't have any direct proof, but there does seem to be correlation. I understand that. Was there any particular reason why you took a sudden interest? In he kind of smiles, the corner of his smile, and says, I am but a wizard. Knowledge is power. Hmm. And what knowledge do you have that you would give me that look, but not any of my party members? Oh, his response was more of like, why wouldn't I be looking for knowledge? It's what wizards do. You know, they they spend their life just in study. I would think that a city vanishing overnight would uh, also gain attention to other people, too. But Ah, but only if they know of the of city's existence in the first place. Exactly. Mm. And considering he's a powerful wizard... Can I make a history check to see if I might notice a pattern by looking at his timelines and the resources I might have might have had available? Uh, a pattern of what? Um, just correlations to like there might have been battles and or oh sure um, some freak of weather uh, pattern you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice roll. Um, you don't know any patterns of, like, crazy significance, like, to something that you would understand, like, battles or anything like that. But you do, you're able to recognize a little more of the pattern um, that he kind of alluded to. Um, but you notice that it looks like the pings, you're able to distinguish that they seem to originate the first one in a little tiny area. And it kind of spreads out in kind of like a, a little bit of a cone. And then, like he said it, uh, earlier, after about the 30-year mark, it kind of immediately goes globally. Uh, but you're able to pinpoint a location that's pretty far away from where you are right now. So, um, I point that out on the map. I point it out. Um, I said, I think I found a pattern of where all of this might have It seems that most of this originated from this town and then spreads out. You know, as he's like, very astute of you. That is what we have determined as well. It seems to originate in this little town. Any significance of the town? He, that, that's when he kind of gets confused. He's like, it's a little nothing town. That, that is what is amazing. We, we have not been able to distinguish why this town is so significant, but it starts there. How far away is this town? The town? It's on the other side of the continent. Oh, damn. Yeah, you, damn. You, you'd have a, a while to go. Wow. It'd be, it'd be a few weeks travel. That doesn't make sense. I mean, unless the, the town had someone that, A, they made mad at them, B, they produced some sort of uh, person from it, some warlock hell-bent on world domination, I'm sure. He kind of shrugs, and he's like, Your guess is my guess. Or, or another thing, they might have summoned a demon, and then they didn't know how to put it. <laughs> that guess is as good as any. But, I will say, the most recent occurrence is about three days' ride from the town. What we don't happened? know exactly what's happened, but a new blip has popped up on the map. Right. It kind of swirls around and kind of zooms in. And it shows the town. Or uh, the town nearest uh, to the most recent blip. I uh, gesture to Echo to mark down the location. What's the name of the town? Uh, well, okay, he's showing us. Welton. Yep.
Okay, well then. Okay, so before we go, um, would you maybe be able to help my friends here now with their injuries? He, he kind of observes the guys and says, he's like, looks over at Rokex. What do you do? Get your caught, foot caught in the bear trap? And he just kind of laughs to himself and Rokex responds, yes. And then uh, you, see, <laughs> you see the wizard's face go from a, a grin to a, like, oh shit, his face. He's like, oh, uh, yeah, we, we can look right at that. Uh, please show me the other injuries. It, that reminds me out of out of character um, of the the phrase. What are you gonna do? Stab me? And then he stabs the person. Yeah. Um. So he he uh, he takes a quick gander at uh, your uh, pancogs and Corin's injury and kind of hovers his hand over it, closes his eyes for a minute, and uh, he says. Oh, these seem to be healing nicely. I believe you've taken care of them well. They should be healed in the next couple of days. Any sort of toxin or infection has been neutralized. But uh, we, can, we can give you some extra bandages and uh, a tonic to maybe speed up the healing. Any, any kind of... Thank you. Goes gets a little, little tiny vial of stuff. You know, just a couple drops of fluid. It says... Apply this tonight and tomorrow night, and uh, you should see a significant improvement in the next couple days. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Hmm. Trying to decide. Okay. He, uh... He says, please give me a moment. And he goes into the, his back study real quick. And uh, after a few minutes, he comes out, and he's got a a couple uh, little tokens, and he gives one to each of you, and he says, "These these are my scrying stones. They allow the ability to us all to be able to converse together. And uh, if you ever find any information or we find anything, it would be highly beneficial to this investigation if we share knowledge uh, amongst each other." Please take Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So you all have some connected scrying stones now. Excuse me. Well, that seems intriguing. I feel Echo should carry it just to make sure. Well, you all get you all get one. Base of yeah. Yeah, we will get one. Do you think it'd be okay if we have a break for now, just so I can go get myself some caffeine? Yes. Uh, we only have like thirty more minutes of play I anyway, so. so much to so say. Yeah. Let's uh, let's take I a quick caffeine. fiver, my friends, and uh, we will be back shortly. You're my hero. Okay, we all back. Uh, let's see, you guys were talking to the wizard. He gave you each a scrying stone that you can uh, contact each other and stuff. Um, you can not just contact the the wizard, but you guys can, you know, talk to each other over distances and stuff. So uh, that's what those are used for. Um, so he just gave you those, and uh, now what? Um... Well, I think the best thing to do is if we head towards um, that town, Welton. Um, because, well, is there any anything else here in the town for us that we need? That's up to you. I need to think. Well, I was asking, asking the party. Um, Let me just scroll up. I think we're good. Okay. I think so too. I'm glad. So, so, yeah. I guess we'll stop making our way to Bolton. Fucking my phone is pissing me off. Um, okay, so um, you, can say, you guys gonna say goodbye to the wizard or anything? You just turn around and leave? Um, no, I'll, I'll wave goodbye. Thank you for your assistance. 
Thank, Thank you for your time, your assistance, and, your, and your help. Kind of throws up his hand. And says, Good journey. And uh, as you guys make your way out the door, all of a sudden a massive earthquake starts shaking the tower. And uh, the wizard kind of puts his hands up and he casts a real quick sp spell of, uh, I don't know, binding. How about that? And uh, he, he, he keeps the tower steady from falling. And uh, you can see uh, kind of his face is uh, giving off a look of uh, not desperation, but concern um, and confusion. And uh, he's like, don't worry, I'll keep the tower from collapsing around us. But something feels not right. Do you think we're getting attacked? He says, I don't know. Something is... This doesn't feel right. Could it have something to do with everything that's going on lately? Did you see this coming? Or something like this coming? No. I don't think it would have. Like I said, this doesn't feel mm. a natural uh, earthquake. Something is definitely wrong. Quick, go check the window. He kind of gestures over to a, a window. Who goes? Um, I'll go. Okay. Um, as you you peer out the window, um, you can act, you actually see, um, the town is kind of waving like an earthquake would, and then it doesn't look unnatural to you. But all of a sudden, in the middle of the town, a gaping chasm begins to form, and it starts to crumble around it. And there is a massive hole forming in the center of the town. I um I tell him there's there's a chasm forming in the center of town. He, he says, uh, "We need to leave." How big is it? It's really big. What is happening massive to the people? Even. Um, is that just, um oops. Uh, you just see people fleeing and stuff. You don't notice if uh, anything strange. Um, I just see I just see people flailing. I I don't see. I haven't seen if any have fallen in the hole. Okay. Um, and as quickly as it started, it seems to uh subside. Like it doesn't have any residual tremors or anything. It's immediately the earthquake stops completely. And the, the wizard kind of is still holding his hands up for a few seconds. And then after a, a few moments pause, he kind of releases the spell. And uh, he runs directly to the window. And appears outside. And uh, he just takes in the, uh, the giant crater that formed in the, <laughs> the little area of, of the city. Uh, after that, he, he rushes back to his side room. And uh, peers into his uh, little orb, puts his hands on top, closes his eyes, and then uh, he's, he yells at you, he's like, You must go now! <laughs> Just noped out of there. Okay, go. <laughs> Let's go. Leave. An occurrence is happening before us right now. Go! Okay. So yeah, I start heading down okay, the stairs, dashing yeah, out. Yeah, me too. Okay, so you guys run in the spiral stairs. Yep. Um, uh, as we're running down, the stairs. Down, I go ahead and I grab my arrow and my bow and I knock an arrow just in case. Okay. Uh, you guys make it down, down to the, the bottom of the, the tower. Uh, you notice both the guards are gone. You don't know where they went. Um, and uh, you kind of look around the town. There's people screaming. There's people just confused as to what just happened. Uh, there's people helping others. Uh, recover from like buildings and stuff that have collapsed. Um, people tending to injuries. Um, seems like a pretty good town actually. Immediately responding to uh, such a an event, and uh, you, you don't see anything out of the ordinary just yet. We need to we need to help people get out of here. We need to start like I don't know. We need to help the people that are already kind of confused and running help them evacuate. I don't know. The wizard says we need to leave right now. And they seem to be doing a good job 
looking up. Yeah, and considering time. everything's kind of stopped at the moment, we but we true we don't know if it's going to start again. Um, yeah, we don't want to poke the bear. I mean, what do you guys think? Should we go to Welton or stay a bit longer and try to help some people out? You think he did say there? the people were turning into, might be turning into <laughs> shadow figures or something. Yeah. And well, then if we stay, we don't want that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We can leave. We to Baldaria, and we had that big giant scorpion monster trying to kill us. Yeah, no, I'm out. I'm going to Welton. <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Well, the wizard did say that you, you you should go investigate the the hole. We should at least do that. I think uh, the wizard will be capable of getting himself out of this place. Um, and if we meet up with him again, we. We'll be able to tell him our findings. Well, you have your, you guys have the scrying. We don't need to meet up with him. We got the scrying. Yeah. We can just contact. Yep. Did Kiri magically appear in the middle of this? No, because you guys watched four hours more away from it. Oh yeah. They shouldn't be too far behind anymore, though. He's following your. Your cracker sense, or whatever you're leaving behind. Have you been dropping treats for this cat? <laughs> this cat is like, this is the best <laughs> thing ever. Apparently, yes, as I'm just, like dropping treats every town you go to. It just. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so what are you guys doing? Okay, we should go and see the hole, I think. Okay. Are we running or are we seeing the whole? You guys vote. I'm happy with anything. I think we should run. <laughs> I think half of us should yep, run. run. The other half should go check out the hole and then report. Yeah, but the thing is, if any of those things show up and our party split up, there's a high chance that we're not going to be able to fight these things. Like, you know, two on however many or three on however many because, you know, we're, we're still only level four. Um, it would be a things... useful time if we ever had a spell to make a doppelganger of ourselves, just like... So you're, uh... I'm nervous, we I'm nervous, we should, I'm we nervous send... about it. We should send, uh, Rogue X, Rogue X to <laughs> investigate the hole, since I'm pretty sure... He's probably the stronger of our party. I don't know. But yeah, he's also he's the fire. slowest. Yeah, because he's got that. <sighs> but those people were fast. He the, won't be able to get away. Something. Yeah. No, you're all the same speed. Oh, he's healed. Really? I thought yeah. that he yeah, he's just, he's just I mean, if he's healed, yeah. Yeah. Can he just can't stealth very well. Oh. Uh, well, if we're going to go check out a big giant hole in the ground, we don't really need to be stealthy, I guess. Um, Probably not. I mean, I'll I'll go and check it out, but I, I'm weary about it. I don't think we should split up. I think we should all either go to the hole or all go to Welton. We shouldn't split up. Agreed. Question. <laughs> um, Vasive. If if he, if I can stay like maybe somewhat close to him or something like if something happens close like to who? grab him with like a um blue shoe i can grab him with a like a i don't know like one of my bind spells or something and just drag him along i don't know <laughs> sure um well rokax <laughs> rokax knowing his character his character would be running to the hole anyway to, to help anyone that's in need so Rokax is book it towards the okay. hole. All right, that that's good then. All right. Thanks for the twenty-one goodies, pa that... pancake. Can we just say that he investigated the hole then, if he's running that way to help people? Uh, no, because um, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna play. Too player Hold and DM on. at the same time. I'm just going to say that he went okay. over there. Okay. I may not have gotten there to help people, 
You may have gone there to investigate the hole. So I'm going there to investigate the hole, but I'm not going there to help anyone. Okay. I go as well, and I'm just going as backup in case they need down some folks. Okay. Yeah, we will go, yeah. As uh, you guys approach the the mouth of the hole, I guess you could say, uh, you guys kind of peer down, and natural light kind of filters into the hole like it normally would, and then all of a sudden it looks like a veil. Just completely kills any sort of light going into the hole, but it just it went down deep into the ground. Okay, do we notice anything odd about the hole is there any sort of like scratch marks like anything kind of clawed out of it is there any sort of like symbols any any sort of like finding features of the hole whatsoever nope or it, is it, just it a looks giant like it looks like hole? earth actually literally just moved okay then um and do we i'm guessing we can't see the bottom of it no because it's completely black no. beyond that veil okay um because all the earth has been ripped up, etc., I'm guessing there's like big chunks of mud and rocks and that stuff. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick up one of these rocks and throw it down, just let it drop to try and have a guesstimate of how deep this thing is, if we can hear it quick enough. If not, then we know it's really deep. Smart. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and drop um, a rock down to see how deep it is. Sure. Um, so it's not like a straight down hole, right? It's, look, it's at like an incline. And then the light, okay. the light kind of stops, and then it's just then black I'll, beyond I'll that. Throw and you chuck towards it. like at the angle. Um, then, yeah, I'll throw downwards see, towards it. Um, we'll we'll say you had like a, a hand sized rock, and you chuck it, and um, it kind of it moves quickly, but as soon as it hits that veil wall, it kind of, and then just kind of slowly inches out of it, and then it disappears. And we don't hear anything. Um, oh. uh, once you've got, you guys have been investigating this, uh, Eldred kind of walks up and he says, uh, he, he kind of starts investigating the hole and he's like, this is the newest occurrence that we've seen. We have not been this close to an occurrence this before. This is a opportunity that is unprecedented. You must go. Right. I don't want to go inside and check the hole out yet. I, I don't. I don't think that it's a good idea at all. No. Uh, I if, think if, there if, might if be. This, like all powerful wizard is saying you probably should leave right now. No, no. He, he's <laughs> saying you should go to the hole. Oh. Yeah. He, he's saying like all these occurrences that are linked somehow. This is the brand, the newest one, and they've witnessed it firsthand. You should go investigate it. Well, in that case, we were we right. suggested to go to Welton, but that one was something that happened a while ago. We'd have a better chance of figuring it out whilst it's fresh and just happened. Right. So we yeah. probably should, yeah, go down the hole, I guess. Um, as we're going down, I'm going to take out my lantern. Um, uh, so we've got some light dark going vision. down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but okay. not everyone has dark vision, so mm. I'm going to take yeah. out my torch. I'm going to take up mine too. Yeah. And even though, bear in mind, dark vision only gives us up to 60 feet. So, you know, I'm guessing with the lantern in a small place, you're going to see a bit further. Well, not much, but a bit further than 60. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, okay. Uh, as you guys pull out your uh, lanterns and stuff and you approach the, the veil that's in front of you, you guys kind of look forward and you, you're standing literally inches from where the light ends and you see nothing. And you kind of look back at the wizard and uh, the other townsfolk, and he kind of raises his hand and he says, Good luck. And now uh, you guys kind of turn back to the veil, take a deep breath, and you have your lantern out in front. And you, as you take a step forward and your lantern crosses through, you see that your hand, you can't see the part of your hand anymore it's obviously you still feel it's a part of you but it is beyond your view right now and as so you... it's more than just darkness yep and as you else. as you go to take another step forward that's where we're gonna pause <laughs> for the session uh, okay <laughs> because okay. it is 4 30 and we're trying to end on a reasonable times for you guys 
That's all right. Okay. It's 20 to midnight for us, so yep. it's probably good for us also. Make some dinner. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but we will pick up next okay. week, uh, you guys observing this hole and uh, what is going on down there and all that oh, good yeah, stuff. Sorry. And Brokax will be uh, with us for that one. So Awesome. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, end off here. Uh, hope you guys had fun. That was interesting. <laughs> Chance of events. Saturday. What'd you say? Are we streaming next Saturday? Yes. Is Saturday there something? Fourth of July. Oh, it's Fourth of July next Saturday. It is. Yeah. I guess we'll have a discussion about that on Discord if uh, you guys want to do that. We can skip that session if you want, or do it another day. Yeah. Because I know like Fourth of July is important to you guys. I'm so. sad because yeah, I have you... nothing to do on Fourth of July. Yeah, I'm not doing I anything. Really so. I don't want to visit my family. So um. Are like let's let's have a discussion on Discord and see how you guys all feel about it, and we'll go from there. Um, oh. no problem. But yeah, from from my account, I'm not doing anything on it. Fucking COVID, I'm not going out for goddamn fireworks. <laughs> and uh, but yeah, let's let's uh have that discussion. We'll figure it out, and uh, I'll talk to Rokax see if he's has any plans too. But um, some interesting stuff should happen next weekend. Um. Interesting session today. Lots of role-playing, but it was cool. I uh, hope you guys had fun. Uh, you guys want to say your goodbyes and all that good stuff? Yes. All right. <laughs> see you later, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I really appreciate it. Nice to see y'all. <laughs> and we're going to go make dinner. <laughs> see you guys Go later. have some good food Bye. later, my friends. See you guys. All right, my friend Arenos. We're going to end off here. Pancake! Oh, oh my God. God. Suddenly blow up in my ear why none of the other oh that's because i hid the alerts in the other one so they don't distress or uh distract from the gameplay but thank you so much for the 28 bitties let me get them doggy some treaties thank you for the bitties thank you thank you thank you cookie uh, time and cookie time for pancake oh get them all those cookies yes good doggies uh i kind of want to play some games or some, something maybe later tonight or tomorrow Sounds pretty fun. I did pick up some new games from the Steam sale. So, if you guys already don't have that bell or anything, hit that bell and you'll know when we go live. I hope you guys are having fun with the campaign. Um, I kind of just won it, winged it, wunged it today. Um, and it seems to work. Um, we got something coming up. So, hopefully, uh, something cool happens next week. Uh, we do hope you guys are having fun. Uh, we're having fun just hanging out and being goofballs. Um, if you guys liked it, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps us out a lot. Let's me know like, what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to risk if you can afford it. Or open up your house to the possibility of fostering. That is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. We're all quarantined. You guys can't see the doggos, but there's a Jada and there's a Mamas right next to me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this, and we'll catch you guys next time. See ya! <laughs>